So-called revenge porn is becoming a serious problem, AI is helping with the detection of Alzheimer's and North Korean hackers steal cryptocurrency worth 1.6 billion euros. These are the topics that have moved the tech world. Revenge porn is everyone's nightmare. Finding nude or sexually explicit images of yourself online, uploaded without your consent. Victims, such as stars like American actress Jennifer Lawrence, describe feeling violated and helpless. Erasing those images from the internet seems impossible, but some online tools can help you stop revenge porn. To make it very clear, someone posting your private images without your consent is never your fault. And in most parts of the world, it's actually completely illegal. About 1 in 12 social media users have been victims of image-based sexual abuse or revenge porn. That's what a study by US-based non-profit organization Cyber Civil Rights suggests. Here's what to do when non-consensual images of you are published online. How to request a removal. Contact the platforms where the images were posted. Report these images for violating the terms of service. Before contacting the companies, take screenshots of the posts that have been published. This is important evidence for your legal case. Meta is funding two tools to help users with the removal of explicit content. The new tool Take It Down is aimed for minors, while Stop NCII is for adults and has been around since 2021. There is one requirement though. The pictures or videos in question need to be on your device. The tools analyze those pictures and create a unique digital fingerprint, a so-called hash. Platforms will look for matches in their system and remove the content if it goes against their terms of service. Your files do not need to be uploaded to the tools and will remain only on your device. Also, the created hash cannot be converted back into a file. This ensures you don't need to share the same content you're trying to remove. The hashes also ensure that the content can't be uploaded again. Several platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, but also OnlyFans have integrated the tools. But what about the thousands of websites dedicated specifically to revenge porn who refuse to delete those images? Since revenge porn is illegal, victims could go to the police and file a case. But there's a stigma around reporting this kind of crime. Victims often feel embarrassed or think it's their own fault. The lack of reporting leads to a lack of prosecution, which enables abusers to continue. What needs to be done? I think it needs to be possible to remove images even if you don't have the originals on your device. MI in Porn is an AI tool that uses facial recognition to search the internet for videos and pictures of you. The site is currently under maintenance. Once it's up again, the service will be available for free worldwide. Tools like these can be used to help find and remove revenge porn. If you are a victim and need help, visit this website to find out who you can turn to in your country. Alzheimer's can hit anyone. Not long ago, American actor Chris Hemsworth was diagnosed with a predisposition for the disease. Worldwide, more than 55 million people live with dementia and Alzheimer's disease is responsible for more than 60% of all cases. There is no cure for Alzheimer's, but early detection is key for a successful treatment. It can really slow down the disease. With AI, it might now be possible to diagnose Alzheimer's much sooner. AI catching Alzheimer's. Hemsworth is known for his role as the almighty god of thunder Thor. For the docu-series Limitless, he had his physical and mental capabilities checked. That's when his predisposition to Alzheimer's was discovered. Average mortals like us will probably rarely get an examination like Hemsworth did. But now, researchers in the US are using AI to detect the risk for Alzheimer's during routine checkups. The AI found predispositions with an accuracy of 90.2%. A team of researchers from Massachusetts General Hospital in the US used an AI to analyze MRI. Eyes. The researchers programmed a deep learning software. It was trained using MRI images of patients with and without Alzheimer's. The AI learned to detect patterns for Alzheimer's in the images. The AI was then tested on a database of tens of thousands of clinical brain images from different years. There were MRI images from about 8,500 patients without signs of Alzheimer's and images from more than 2,000 patients who had already been diagnosed with the risk of the disease. 
The AI was able to detect 9 out of 10 cases and could identify even younger patients with a risk for Alzheimer's. AI's abilities in analyzing a large amount of data and identifying patterns could also lead to other advances in the medical field. AI is suggesting individual treatment. By comparing many different cases, AI could make more personalized medical treatments possible. AI could be taking into account all sorts of variables like a patient's blood pressure, pre-existing conditions or age and run them through a database with similar cases. This way, the system could recommend individualized and more accurate medication. AI developing new drugs. AI could also help in the development of new drugs. AI systems are very good at calculating complicated processes like gene sequencing or analyzing molecules. But they can also be used to collect and process health data on a massive scale, for example, from health gadgets. Some experts believe with AI taking many different aspects and data into account, new drugs could be made available 10 times faster than today. I believe AI can never replace a doctor. However, it can be a great medical assistant. But the health sector is by far not the only field where AI can be used for the good of humanity. Crime, poverty and pollution. Those are some of the most pressing problems the world faces every day. Artificial intelligence has the potential to help solve those problems. But how do we make it happen? In India, one of the most dynamic tech nations of the world, things are speeding up. Can we identify 10 problems of the society which can be solved by AI? That's the question Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked the people. Which everyday problem would you have fixed by AI? Let us know. We asked some of our colleagues from around the world and identified three fields where AI is needed. AI to keep you safe from crime. AI models can sift through police databases and analyze crime trends. This way, they could predict when and where violent crimes will happen. We already have publicly accessible systems in place. When citizens report a crime, the data is used to show crime hotspots on a map that allows people to steer clear of the area. Footage from public surveillance cameras can also be analyzed by AI. It could identify suspicious behavior of people, for example, and issue warnings early on. So-called predictive policing systems have proven successful in the past, but they also face criticism. The databases they work with often rely on older statistics, plus they come to racially biased conclusions. AI to fight pollution. By analyzing traffic flow and suggesting improvements, AI could make your commute to work smoother. But it could also help with smog. Air sampling devices around cities can measure the air quality and publish pollution levels. In case of high air pollution, AI could issue warnings to the public. AI systems could also monitor traffic through cameras and react in real time to traffic jams or accidents. They could then provide solutions using traffic light timing, variable speed limits, and detours. The collected data could be even more beneficial aiding in urban planning decisions. For example, where does a general speed limit make sense and where should more trees be planted to improve air quality? AI to fight poverty. AI can help farmers get better results. It can analyze data to see how planting cycles and fertilizers influence the harvest. A properly trained AI could suggest best practices to increase yield in a specific area. It can also monitor weather data and advise farmers to take necessary actions on time. There are also high hopes when it comes to AI boosting education and helping people to earn more. And AI-powered learning tools are not only helpful for people in remote areas. Custom-tailored teaching programs take into account a student's individual knowledge, background and learning curve. They have already been implemented in some parts of the world with great success. By avoiding over-challenged and under-challenged students, AI systems can also help reduce the number of school dropouts. Last but not least, AI can take over repetitive routine tasks for teachers that would enable them to invest more time in taking care of their students beyond the current curriculum. India is trying to involve the public when it comes to how AI can help society. I think that's a great idea. From my point of view, a government-driven initiative would be better than leaving the development of AI technology to private enterprises only. So there's a lot of work to be done. Let programmers get to it. 
3.5 billion euros. That's the amount of crypto that was stolen by hackers in 2022. Your crypto could also be at risk. Hackers aren't just targeting the big enterprises. Nearly 45% of crypto thefts are linked to North Korean hackers, according to an American blockchain analysis firm. Some experts even suspect the cyber criminals are working for the North Korean government. The regime is under heavy international sanctions, so hacking crypto could be a lucrative income stream. Let's talk some numbers. The North Korean government pulled in just 130 million euros from experts last year, while hackers from the country bagged almost 1.6 billion euros. The North Korean Intelligence Bureau is believed to use hacker groups specifically for cyber attacks like crypto hacks, according to a recent UN report. US officials are worried that North Korea will fund its nuclear weapons program with the stolen money. Hacking the unhackable. Cryptocurrencies themselves are almost impossible to hack. That's because they're stored on the blockchain, which uses advanced verification and encryption processes. So hackers target transactions and platforms instead. These are their most common methods. Rigid hacks. This happens when you're transferring crypto from one blockchain to another, like turning Bitcoin into Ethereum. Protocols called bridges are created and they're vulnerable to hacking. Wallet hacks. If you're using software to store crypto on your smartphone or computer, hackers can use malware to steal from your wallets. Exchange hacks. Crypto exchange platforms hold huge amounts of cryptocurrency on behalf of their users. When exchanges are hacked, your coins can be stolen. How to protect your crypto. There is one simple rule. You should not handle a crypto wallet any differently than you would an actual wallet with cash. You wouldn't carry around your entire savings, would you? The same is true for cryptocurrencies. In a so-called hot or online wallet, on a smartphone or a computer, you should keep a small amount of Bitcoin for daily use only. Store savings in a cold wallet. To put it simply, these are external devices that are offline most of the time. For crypto exchanges, there's unfortunately not much you can do aside from good research. Check out who runs the exchange and what their security measures are. Make sure you trust them to keep your crypto safe. Are you afraid of hackers stealing your crypto or do you trust the technology? Let us know. That's it from me. Bye bye.